pressures belong to us. Well, you don't understand that you cannot film because it is belong to us. Because it's on the outside and people could film on the outside. But this something is a, is a private property. You cannot without the permission of the owner. Do you so I don't think so. Them? No, I don't. Um, but you sure? Because apparently you are a man who camera. You should know that you cannot video in a property. This is private. according to the law here. Yeah, I don't believe that. So well, well, you believe that's a All right, and then the police the will tell me, then that's fine. I got to say, I watched the video that you had posted uh, with you in Jerusalem in, in front of the Messianic Christian Jews for Jesus, whatever that was. I was very taken back. And then I then to see what was going on. The guy who was the, the main priest there, uh, it was really yeah. weird because it looked like he was he was trying to like intimidate you to make you go away. What, what really happened there? What's very striking about this place is it was built in the mid 19th century for the purpose of converting the Jewish population, a growing, beleaguered Jewish population in Jerusalem, to convert them to Christianity. We're talking about 1849, and a massive amount of money was extended for the propagation of the gospel among the Jews. In fact, that's the name of the organization that was behind the whole thing. It was just to convert the Jews to Christianity using Jewish symbols and icons, but it's an Anglican church. Hey, if you look on top, there it is, Jeremiah chapter 31, describing days are coming, saith the Lord, that will forge a covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, a Brit Chadasha, a new covenant, another name for a New Testament. You get the message. It's a center of operations in Israel. It's not the only center, it's not the largest, but it's certainly the most striking one. The whole purpose of that church, the raison d'etre, was to bring the Jews to the church, and we call it the old city, Bear in mind that in 1849, that was the only Jerusalem. There was no one living outside of what we call the old city of Jerusalem prior to 1860. Spiritually, they want Judaism to come to an end. It's very much a story of Hanukkah. The other thing about them is that, and I think it's why it shook up the leaders of quite a number of missionaries from that church that came out during while we were filming, is that they want to pass themselves off as just legitimate. Like, they're just another church in the old city of Jerusalem. We're just like everybody else, and they're not, because this place was built for the purpose of converting the Jewish people, and this place really supports unambiguously Jewish evangelism. They weren't happy with it. And I was filming on the street, on the sidewalk, on a public area. Their church was in the background. They wanted to make the case number when they owned the sidewalk. And I made it clear to them they didn't. That was public. I'm not kidding. They said, this is our property. And it's a sidewalk. It's, it's, it's public. It's public. It's where people are walking. We uh, respect you. We respect your right to argue against us, to disagree with us. Disagree. That's but all. Also, you need to respect my right. Every religious group. I do. Needs to stand I do. Up I do. This is this is a competition of that ideas. It, that it understands. That's right. Right. Okay. So that's but why. Right. Why am I letting you? Right. You're not letting me. Yeah. This is not North Korea. No, 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 no. This, I mean, Christians have not been in control of. No, this is not your property. It it's is. not. It is. No, you don't. You don't. You own that don't building, own, but you don't. don't you don't know. You own, don't own this. Do this own is this. not. No, you don't. No, 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 that's not true. The, the property line is from here. Uh, no, that's not true. No, it is true. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. This gate is is no, yours. This gate is not the Look, I'm not I'm not interested. Is, how come this is our building? What's that? This, this is, is your building, building, but this, this is not is, your building. This is this is our building here. Uh, that's true. That is yeah, your okay. building. So, that's a, a a messy. Let me just do it this way here. That that look there. That you see. Okay, if you could film that, a manual messianic gift shop, and you see there, there's a symbol of a fish, intertwined with the symbol of a Jewish star and a menorah. The fish that you see there is one of the most ancient Christian symbols. It's older than using the cross as a symbol of Christianity. So what it is is merging together the fish, which stands for Jesus Christ, and the star, the Jewish star of David, in order to produce something where the lines have been blurred. And that, in, in effect, helps Jewish people, in their view, come to know about Jesus or Yeshua HaMashiach. In fact, inside you have the Lord's Prayer. It's in Hebrew. We well, also have the Ten Commandments. And, and not only that. Well, you also have the Ten Commandments. So, then again, you've never been inside. 
I, and you, I know you think it's Mari Dine, but you won't find any Abu Dazara inside. You're welcome to have a look. You worship a man as God. You believe in the doctrine of the Trinity. We, you, you pray. God says that I am not a man, that I lie, I won't change my mind, I'm not a mortal. And you just don't accept, you reject. Different than uh, Rabbi, uh, the Rabbi, Rabbi Chief Berdicha. Rabbi of Israel? Uh, Berdicha. Yes. Yes. How is that, uh, if you read the scholarship of someone like Shaul We're Magid talking about the Line Bible, University. yes. Yes, uh, uh, and, the, and the place of, uh, of uh, the, uh, the rabbis and Hasidut. So maybe that's our difference. We believe that the Bible is a final authority, and you think a, some rabbi or some professor university is your authority. No, I'm quoting but, scripture, and you're quoting universities. I'm, I would say that's possibly our I, difference. I would, no, I wouldn't say that. So there you have it. This, the oldest church in the old city of Jerusalem. I'll correct that. This is the oldest Protestant church here in Jerusalem, built in 1849 with enormous funds from the London Society for the propagation of the gospel among the Jewish people. That's why they came here. Jewish people flocked to Jerusalem in the 19th century because of earthquakes in the north, in Svat in particular, and therefore they needed a place to run and they came here to Jerusalem. The church got wind of this. The Anglican church realized that something had to be done to bring the Jewish people to the church, to bring them to the cross. They set up hospitals here in Jerusalem. The purpose was to bring the Jewish people to know about Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I mean, because you have nearly five million foreigners who come to Eretz Israel every year. And then you at least have four or five million Israelis that come through there every year. We're talking 10 million people. You're right in the front, like with big signs up, with Jewish stars all over the place. What, what do you mean we can't, you can't take a picture with your place in the background? I mean, do you not take pictures of synagogues unless you ask the rabbi first? The missionaries connect to this, do go to Jewish sites and film. They don't ask permission from the rabbi. You know that. No, but yeah, this, Very is not, well. this is not some general Jewish. This is not. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it is. I mean, you live in Jerusalem, and it's important for you to get along with the people who are here in Yerushalayim, the Jewish it people. Is. And if we have a different view about God, yes, I, there's not, nothing for you to hide. It's not your different view, but but one perusal of your website shows me you uh, shows me you have you folks have no idea what you're talking about when you talk about either this church or... Uh, There's nothing on my site about this church, so I, you, know, I think but, you're making that up, right? No, There's something on my site that mentions this church. Uh, please. My name is Tovia. Tovia, sorry. And you're the rector, you're the I'm Anglican the, priest the there. Anglican priest. Okay, so. my friends. So it was very preposterous. It was unnerving to them. They didn't handle it very, very well. Moreover, Romans chapter 1, verse 16. That's the kind of commission we're talking about here. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. So, this is the Hanukkah message. And that's why he's speaking here. He is here, but he knows. No, 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 it's good. This is the best thing he could be doing. Because what he's doing is he wants to speak to be able to stop the message. It's not going to happen. It won't work. He wants to stand the there so that you don't get it in there. They host a messianic congregation on the Shabbat. It's a center of operations in Israel. It's not the only center. It's not the largest, but it's certainly the most, most striking one. I don't think you quite have this figured out. Well, I Except think we do. We've been around second, for a while. Uh, and number two is, I want you to know this. I'm going to tell you this. I've been doing this a long time. Yeah. For an, let me. For an Anglican priest, you're unusual. You, you surprise me. I'll tell you why. Because generally speaking, the people of the cloth, people who are actually ordained, mm -hmm. go a little bit easier and say, you know what, I understand why Jewish people might be offended, just listen out, might be offended by this. And we are trying to reach the Jewish people and others with the gospel, and I could understand why Jews might be offended and would want to respond to that message in a peaceful way, using the words and the merit of our conversation. You've got to be the first guy to win the award of being an ordained. I just thought you were just some guy, but you're not. You're an ordained no, Anglican no, priest. No, no, no. It's unusual. I'll just tell you that. Listen. You are very unusual. This place 
is proud to have converted thousands of Jewish people to the church. In fact, when it was built back in 1849, that was the mandate. It was a mandate about bringing the gospel to the Jewish people right here in, in Yerushalayim. And that's why he's talking to me while I'm broadcasting. I mean, if, if he were broadcasting, I wouldn't be walking into the thing. And by the way, I would the welcome way, that. Know, I would welcome that. I wouldn't, and because if I'm inside, I'm under your control. So, no, What's so, the point? Nothing. There you go. You, the you. message is happy Hanukkah. We'll continue to celebrate Hanukkah. The yeah, spiritual happy light will continue. Brother, happy Hanukkah. And the church Just will not be able to stop it. He could I'm stand in front of a lens, but he you. can't put out the know. light like of Hanukkah. <laughs> Thank you.